the mechanism of action of the microshunt in focus is very similar to the me mechanism of a trabeculectomy. This is a filtering surgery with a bleb under the conjunctiva, so it's exactly the same thing, but uh, there is no uh, scleral flap, there is a very tiny opening in the conjunctiva, and there is no iridectomy. And this is the reason why this uh, in-focus microshunt is very similar to a very uh, minimally invasive trabeculectomy. Oh, there is a lot of advantages. First, during surgery, everything is very easy for the patient because you can do it on topical anesthesia. And for the surgeon, because on topical anesthesia, the patient is going to look down and it's very easy to do the surgery. The surgery is also very quick. You have to open the conjunctiva to lift the conjunctiva toward the fornix and left and right. After that, you are going to do a very uh, a tiny groove in the sclera, one millimeter wide, two millimeter long toward the trabeculum. And then with a needle, you enter the anterior chamber. When you enter the anterior chamber with a 35 gauge needle, you even don't lose the anterior chamber. So there is no uh, modification of the pressure, more or less. You put the micro shunt and it's very quick and then you lift the conjunctiva and uh, we, you have of course at the beginning after opening up the conjunctiva to use mitomycin exactly in the same manner than you do with trabeculectomy. So it's a trabeculectomy very quick and topical anesthesia. The second advantage is, is that postoperatively you don't have severe hypotony. You may have seven, eight millimeter of mercury, but you would never have severe hypotony. And because you don't have severe hypotony, you are not going to have inflammation. You may not have hemorrhage, expulsive hemorrhage, no severe complication. And because you don't lose the entire chamber during surgery, the inflammation is very mild. Even you don't see inflammation in the entire chamber. And uh, for the second advantage is because you have uh, little manipulation of the tissue, little manipulation of the conjunctiva, of the sclera and so on, you may not have fibrosis later on. That means uh, you have very good results with this technique and uh, uh, for the long term you have even better results than with, than with tra uh, trabeculectomy. And the third advantage is, is that uh, for the patient, the quality of and the uh, rapidity of uh, rehabilitation of vision is very quick. In uh, eight days, and even it's more of the time it's quicker, the patient has visual acuity rehabilitation. And the, fir and the, and the, uh, the quality of life af after surgery is excellent because the patient do not have bandage the day after surgery. He has only a bandage during four or five days at night. He can walk, he can arrive in a few days. So it's very uh, comfortable for the patient and it's very comfortable also for the surgeon. In conclusion, I would say that AMS uh, in focus microshunt has very little side effects. And uh, you know, uh, because of trabeculectomy, with trabeculectomy we have uh, post-op complications related to hypotony. We have developed in France what we call the deep sclerectomy. With deep sclerectomy the, uh, the eye is not open. We do not have a problem with hypotony postoperatively, but it doesn't work very well for the long term. So, and with deep sclerectomy, no, no hypotony, but you have to go to do gonioponcture, to see the patient very often and so on. And with the in-focus microshunt, you have the advantages of post-op of the deep sclerectomy and long-term of trabeculectomy with very few visits. So it's very, very advantageous.